And of course, you know, your fans want to see you fight the other Garcia ASAP, of course, that being Ryan. Um, and you are allegedly scheduled for mid-2023. Is that still the plan to fight Ryan Garcia later next year? God willing. And what what is your message to the fans? Because you know, like myself, <laughs> I've been wanting that fight for a minute. So what is your message to the fans? Like, you know, you promised in the knockout. What's going on between you and Ryan? Because I know, like, y'all had a little moment, actually, Um, you know, you saying that he looks bigger than usual. And Ryan, you know, replying, saying you're getting spooked. That's why this is, you know, why you're tweeting stuff like that. But, like, what is your response to that and the fans who've been, you know, waiting for that fight? Uh, I mean... When I when I seen that I just I woke I just woke up and I looked on uh I think it was it was Twitter and it was Sean and then said something like the guy was one fifty four and we know he I don't want to throw nobody under the bus but we know what's going on over that side so just try to be make sure everybody on an even playing field you know what I mean I I never want to. I never cheated, so and people getting hurt in the sport of boxing. So I feel though if you if you if you cheat, not saying he's cheating. I'm just saying I just seen a picture that he's normally not that size. Mm-hmm. But also that's what liquor do to you. Get you big like that. After the Garcias, of course, Hector and uh, Ryan, um, will it be Devin Haney or Shakur? Because I know Shakur was actually saying that, you know, you can't beat him. He claims, allegedly, that you will never be able to beat him in the ring. So will Haney or Shakur, after these two fights, be your next bout? Hopefully. I'm pushing for it. I'm pushing for it. Which one do you think is the biggest fight between Ryan, Devin, and Shakur? Them fighting me. All of them. Them fighting me is that biggest person. That I don't think I'm um, this. I mean, I'm the head honcho of the, the bitch. Do you feel any pressure? Like, like you have to win this fight against Hector to even get that big money fight with Ryan? Do you feel any pressure at all? It's pressure, but it's good pressure. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's good pressure. It's definitely pressure, though. I think every fight is, is pressure. You know, you want to perform, you want to look good in front of the hometown. You got a, somebody again that wants your spot. That's hungry on the come up. You know what I mean? He's he's sixteen and no, he's solid. He's solid opponent. So I'm just trying to make sure I stay focused on that that main goal and not lose myself in the midst of it. Definitely. And I was going to ask you that. I mean, you know, you say he's 16 and 0, and this is definitely for the uh, WBA lightweight title. Is there anything that you see that Hector's in, a, like, any challenges that you feel like he's going to bring to the ring? Um, I feel as though he got pop. He's definitely uh, technical. Um, he's not somebody that just go out there and throw punches. He he pay attention to what he's throwing. I feel as though this is a, definitely a solid fight. You know what I mean? Um, I'm definitely not overlooking him. You know what I mean? So, as though he's he's hungry too. Mm-hmm. And as we face out today, he looked like he's ready for sure. And even though he looks hungry and he's ready, are you gonna go after him and try to get that 26 knockout? <laughs> uh, if it if it prevents itself, then you know I'm definitely. It's definitely going to be a sold out uh, event. I feel as though it's going to be a lot of celebrities, a lot of. Uh, it's going to be a big event. Another Javante Davis event, Showtime. You know what I mean? Big, big things. 